Dad? What, Tuck? Is that man going to be okay? I think so, buddy. They got him a lot of help here. He's sitting there and he's talking and everything. I bet you he'll be just fine. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. Well, today, I'm in Bows, Arizona. I think I got it right. I pulled over to a uh, roadside stand uh, to pick up some vegetables and I got a kind of big area here for people to pull in and rest with some neat things. Display. Got a roadside vegetable stand here. Oranges, potatoes, squash, apples, avocados, a little bit of everything. Uh, when I pulled in here, there's a man, they were afraid he was having a stroke. So, uh, we've got emergency vehicles and stuff here. we give them all, give them some privacy. But, uh, got a lot of first responders here. And the sheriff's here as well. <sighs> Maybe he'll be alright. He was talking and they were working with him while I was over there. Morning, babies. Morning, Dad. Dad? Hey, Dad. What all did we get? Uh, we as in being me? Let's see. I got some cabbage, some cauliflower, lettuce. This is what I'm most excited about. Uh-oh. Can't get it out of the bag. I got some honey that's made in, I think they said Gila here. What else? Bananas, pistachios, some parched peanuts, some broccoli, and some romaine lettuce. And all this was $34. Man, that's a deal. It's not a great deal, but it's a pretty good deal. To... How would you know what groceries cost? You don't know all that stuff. You don't know. You're right, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, go out and show these people on the TV some things that's sitting over here beside us. Can I go? No, you gotta stay here. You stay here and protect the wolf pack, the rest of the wolf pack. So how do you say that? Boos? Bows? Boos? Anyway, it's uh, on 95 heading out of Parker uh, toward 10. Get this parking area right here. Let's go up here and take a look at some. They got a windmill and some other things I want to show you. Cool old bug pulled in. I'm seeing less and less and less bugs nowadays. The old style. Something I don't see a lot beside a porta potty. Place to clean your hands. They're doing it right. great and you know my weakness windmills what does that sign say Baker manufacturing Evansville and a lot of people don't know that there are gearing that there's gearing inside that box there so when that turns it makes a, a pipe or a um, connecting rod go up and down used all over the west to pump water now mostly I just see solar I don't, I've never heard of the baker my daddy had a bunch of farm implement old stuff laying around and I'm not going to look at all of it look at one or two more things and we're going to go little bulldozer That makes me wonder. 20. Must have been a lot of mining and stuff going on here. Some farming. 
I like that suspension. Yeah, buddy. Who needs shocks? Just put shocks under your butt. All right. Just a bunch of junk. Neat stuff. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I thought that was a snake. <laughs> it's an old belt fell off. Made me look down at my feet real quick. I don't know about you. So just a little, just a little stop. Get on down the road. They do these mountains out here. They put the town's first letter on them. B. Parker had a P. No, I'm not going to start doing Sesame Street. Of course, that's where the fishy, fishy, fishy came from. Did you know that? Bert and Ernie fishing. And uh, Bert couldn't catch any fish. And Ernie was catching a bunch of fish. And he says, how do you do it? And Ernie says, I call them. I'm real nice to him. So I go, here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Look what it's done started. No baby main man barking. All right, it's time to go. Well, wouldn't you know it, I pulled into a rest area here on 10, around mile marker 75 or so, and, uh, Ran into some Camper Van Kevin subscribers. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Clyde, Miss Daniela. So you got a, a fifth wheel Loretto? Yep, 2003. Three. 2003. Yep, Miss Gypsy's 2004. So we, we got these older rigs out here, but. Uh, they're sturdy. They're really sturdy, and we're just. We're using them. Yep. We're using them. You bang them. They built them better back then, yep. <laughs> so I see you've got some stickers on here. Let's see. There's a there's somebody we know there, yeah. but uh, I was telling them I was like uh, I could give you another sticker if you like. Let's see, that's that's a good <laughs> well, that's a good spot. That is a good spot. Isn't it? What do you think, Eric? <laughs> but no, uh, sticker wars continues. Yep. I think I'll put one right here. That suits y'all. Perfect. That sounds good. Perfect. Gave us the courage. Okay, well we've got uh, we've got the new 2020 sticker on their pretty Laredo here. Well, I'd have never guess this thing to be a 2003. Pulling with a Ford uh, diesel with that 7.3 power stroke. Yeah. You got the good. You got the good one. We, we got the good one. Yeah. Seven point. How many miles you got on that power stroke? 146. See, so just breaking it in. Yeah, it's just broken in exactly. Well, you got you know you got about five six hundred more thousand. Exactly. That's what we're hoping. That's right. That's got, right. got that good diesel. All right, well, it was nice to run into Thank you. you. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for letting us pull you away from the dogs. <laughs> from the and, pack. <laughs> and I appreciate you letting me throw a sticker on. You're welcome. No problem. That's fun. Alrighty. And th those were some nice people. We meet all kind of people out here, don't we? Most most of them are nice. Yeah. Yeah, most are nice like them. I got friends wherever I go. Ooh, what a pretty rig. That was a four by four too. They said they just moved out of California and bought an RV. Here they are. They said they're so happy they can't stand it, living the dream. Well, we have been on the road for several hours. And, uh, doing real good with traffic until I hit uh, Tucson. I was able to get around Phoenix by taking 85 South down to 10. And I thought that if I got to Tucson an hour early, I'd miss it. No, it got me. So I wasn't planning on stopping here and staying, but I might as well. I'm at the Desert Diamond Casino again. That was here a month ago. But uh, I'm gonna let the babies play a little bit. Oh, good grief. Tucker spun his wheels backwards all that way. Push that straw way back there. What are you doing, Tuck? Man, I'm spinning my tires. Getting the rubber hot, you know. 
no, I don't know. Come on, babies. That's what I call spinning tires. Good gracious, what a dog. On the size of his paw. Woo. I'm glad I don't have to feed it. Let's see what we got around us. We got an Eagle, fifth wheel by Jayco. Got an airplane above us. A four winds, a Dutchman. A Tioga, tractor trailer. Phaeton. Allegra. Summerland tag along. Real pretty Winnebago sightseer up here. And there's a, okay, Wildcat, there's a bunch of those. Maybe a Forest River. And a little uh, Dodge Ram Promaster got in my spot that I like. And I parked just like she did. But she got it first. So, I don't get a yard. I wonder who's up on the kitchen table. You know better. You know better. <laughs> Martini, who's not supposed to be up on the... I wasn't on the kitchen table. Martini, I have a picture of you on the kitchen. I have a video. Wasn't me, it was me, May. Well, I'll have to rewind and make sure. What are y'all panting for? It's not that hot. Little AC, please. All right, well, the batteries are full. I'll turn on the mini split. Well, it is 82 degrees in here. A little AC instead of heat, please. Cool us off. Cooking my breakfast again. Have some smoked wings. Some onion, some jalapeno, I'll throw some egg in there in a minute. Yeah, buddy. Got my coffee going. Got my instant coffee ready. But boy, do I have some news for you. So last night I was editing comments on my YouTube channel and uh, well, you may remember about a month ago, I was in Quartzsite. Uh, there's a lady camping next to me, uh, a little bit down from me. She came up and she says, have you seen my cat? I'm missing my cat, 17 year old Siamese cat. And we all said no. We all went out and looked. I even had some, uh, some night vision equipment and I went out for night after night looking and looking. Nothing. We didn't get anything. I'm just cooking. <laughs> um, get my finger out of the way. Hurry up, Kevin. Okay. Couldn't find her cat. Everybody's like, you know, the coyotes got that cat. So last night, I'm editing my, uh, going over my YouTube comments, and the Tina B left this comment said that uh, a, 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 a female Siamese had been found in the La Paz animal, animal Clinic and that there was a post on Facebook. So I called up uh, the kitty cat's owner named Pam. Uh, she was working there at the hamburger place in Quartzsite. Uh, but she, well, anyway, when I called her, she says, well, I'm in South Dakota. And uh, she says, you think it's my cat? And I said, well, it said it's a, it's a, it's a girl cat. She says, well, it's a boy cat, but he's been altered. Well, I don't know what that exactly means. I have an idea. But it may, it may make it harder to tell a boy cat from a girl cat. So I said, well, let's find, let's see if we can find this Facebook post and see if we can find the pictures. And this was late last night. Well, she called me up this morning. She says, I found the pictures. It's my J kitty. <laughs> she says, it's my cat. 
that cat had survived for three, four weeks out in the desert at uh, Quartzsite. She says she had heard that there were sightings everywhere, but I figured you people just being mean and cruel, you know. But uh, yeah, J Kitty, he's finger out of the way, Kevin. J Kitty has been found, and uh, Pam is in South Dakota. She's got a friend that's uh, in Lake Havasu. I think she says she has another friend that may be in Quartzsite. But uh, isn't that just the greatest news? I mean, so if you lose your pet, don't don't give up. Crazier things have happened. And, uh, you know, through social media, the right content, right contacts were made. And it all worked out. But, uh, you know, I was just one, I was, we were just one piece of the puzzle. And it couldn't have happened without, you know, everybody sharing the video and, and sharing the post and everything lined up. And J. Kitty was found. How, how can you have a happier ending than that? Right? But, you know, put a collar on your, on your pets with your contact information on the tag. Uh, chip your pets. Um, because J. Kitty could have went to the animal shelter. He could have survived the coyotes, went to the animal shelter. And not survive that because they didn't find the contact info. But we got a we got a happy ending on this one. I burned my sausage. That's okay. This is important. All right. Shoot. Can't end the video on a better note than that. That was my finger again. It's early. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Where? right here I appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we will see you again soon thank you everybody uh, for their part uh, helping find Jay Kitty thanks for your, your concern and your prayers and you know it's important it matters our relationships with our with our critters okay gotta go you guys take care spinning tires good gracious what a dog on the size of his paw Woo. glad I don't have to feed it